everybody so today we're going to be doing part two of the cheap mechanical mod and uh, sub oim build so please stick around and i'll see you there all right so i just turned the light on there's no audio on this video either so i'm showing the rda Um, I just got done cleaning it. It is a Buddha V2. Showing the well and the top posts. The lid. sure what I'm doing at the moment I think I might have walked away let me know if the voiceover is okay Showing Canthal A1 100 foot spool. And it's 25 gauge, which is what I'm going to be using for this build. I think right here I had to go grab some other stuff out of the bag. showing the wire I'm explaining you cut just cut the tip off um, the tip that I bent to tape it to the spool I'm also explaining you're gonna want to cut because we're doing a dual parallels you're gonna want to cut two of the same length for each coil. So you're going to want uh, two of the length um, for one coil, two for the other coil, so you have total of cut four of the same length. This makes it easier. one that I cut actually I threw two down so I picked one up to use as a reference Drop the third one. Okay. Looks like I might have finished with um, cutting the four strips of wire. There is definitely going to be a lot of stuff missing from this because it, the audio was lost. Um, I had a ton of information and it's all gone. So what I'm showing here is I just fold the wire over, put some scotch tape on the wire just to hold it still so it doesn't unravel on me. which later in the video it actually did unravel just sitting there so I just I didn't put the t tape tight enough 
showing the equal length wire. Trying to get them as close as possible and even as possible, so I tap them on the tip. I ended up picking up the old coil um, after grabbing the coil master wrapper. I needed to figure out which one I needed. I ended up picking up, if I remember correctly, the, the 3.5 millimeter first, and then I ended up realizing I needed 3.0 millimeter. What I'm doing is uh, cutting the cotton out of the old coil, trying to you know get close as possible to the. Uh, size I need for the in, in, in inside diameter of the coil. Um, I think I'm still cutting it right now. Yep. I'm still cutting it at this moment. So here I'm show, showing the old coil. I realize up 3.5 millimeters too large. So I pick up the stem kit and I grab the appropriate size. And it fits. So that's the old coil. I ended up throwing that coil away. It was just a reference for the video. So I'm setting up the tool at the moment. I'm a, when I move my fingers, I'm talking about there's a grub screw on it. You can actually move it in and out. Ceramic tweezers. I do not remember what I was explaining about the tweezers. I might have been explaining you pinch the coil um, when you're done. So I picked up two wires. You can see I'm trying to make them as even as possible with the tip of my finger. I do remember this. I ended up screwing up this and I ended up having to cut more wire. Because I hadn't done it in so long I forgot that you actually had to slide it all the way through. I ended up twisting just the end of the wire and it didn't help me any. You're actually supposed to slide the wire all the way to the end and then you wrap it to around the outside of the black piece just so you can hold it. And that was where I made the mistake is right here where I bent it, I realized I messed up and it would just it wasn't working out very well. I'm actually cutting a new uh, 
set of wire. I'm just not doing it on camera. This is a spot where I realized my mistake. Uh, I didn't make it long enough. It needed to be down at the end. And instead of messing with it here, the, what I do here is I try to put it in. It doesn't want to go in. So I ended up scrapping that, putting it on the tool case and just cutting new wire I think the mic would have was loose. The connection on my camera was loose, and I think that's why the audio got lost. I'm just gonna have to do another complete build video um, because there's a lot of information I gave in these videos, and two out of the six videos have no audio, and of course it's the longest set of videos that don't have the audio the 21 minutes and the 15 minute video doesn't have audio so I'll try to explain it the best I can um, but I will definitely make another build video and I'll record the process all over again so this is right here is where I'm actually sliding it in to the tool making sure it fits right and then I actually realized my mistake and I actually slid it out So I'm starting the twist. You can twist to the left, you can twist to the right. It doesn't actually matter which direction you twist it. Should be wrap two and three. Oh, this one's four right there that one was four I was got a little ahead of myself trying to make sure that the legs are at least equal to each other The light actually dies, I think, a few minutes from this section of the video. I'm actually counting the wraps. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty
three, four wraps. And just as a reminder, this is a dual parallel build. So it's two coils, two wires per coil. Um, the parallel is the two wires sitting next to each other. So when you wrap them, they actually lay flat next to each other. So it actually, it, it's two, four, six, eight, looks like eight wraps. It's actually four wraps, two wire. So right here, I'm actually loosening the screws, trying to get the, the legs to go in. Make sure that you put one in the center and one on the outer post for each coil. It's a ground. Um, outside posts are ground. They're grounded to the base. And then the inside posts are the hot. Right now, I'm just trying to get it in the direction I want it. I didn't like that. It's too far to the side. So I pull it out and I flip it over. No, I didn't flip it over. I moved it to the opposite side. I didn't like that either and I, then I ended up flipping it over. And that looked a lot better to me. So this is, this, um, I'm actually going to use the screwdriver to slide it into the coil. Um, and use it as a brace. And that's where the light died. This is the section where I went and grabbed another light and it had an issue with the, the camera didn't like it. Um, I tried to give a little more light by opening the drapes a little bit. And drapes didn't want to cooperate. So I'm explaining right here. I'm actually end up turning the light on even though it messes with the camera I'm using the screwdriver to twist the coil and align it in this position I want it to be in I want it pretty close to the top of the posts but not higher than the post so basically right underneath the screws I'm realizing I need this screwdriver to tighten the, the screws because they're flat heads so I grab the Phillips screwdriver the black handled one in the case I slide that one into the coil and then I use the red one, the flat head, to tighten the, the screws down. I got it lined in the position I wanted. And keep in mind that when you tighten, it's going to force the coil to move. It's not uncommon. Um, you're just going to have to retwist it and re straighten it, and then tighten the next screw. checking to make sure that they're tight I put the flat head down and this is I'm positioning it now putting it in the position I want it 
in the center and height as well as um, how twisted I want it to be if I want it completely horizontal or if I want it slightly slanted turn the, the light off. The camera doesn't like the light because of the refresh rate, I'm assuming. So now I'm actually talking about cropping the leads. You got to get them as close to um, the post as you possibly can so you don't end up hurting yourself or, or you know end up shredding cotton when you're putting cotton in. I'm showing you I got him as close as I possibly could right here and then um, this is almost the end of the video we're going to be heading to part three thank you for watching Hey everybody so please like comment subscribe hit the bell notification icon um, and if you want to see future updates go check out my Amazon affiliate links and I'll see you guys on the next video peace